Marriages, unfortunately, don't always work. There can be a number of reasons as to why a marriage fails, like infidelity, toxicity, or simply just falling out of love. Some people see their past relationships as points of growth, and others see them as horrible mistakes. Today, let's talk about a few celebrities who feel this way about their past marriages as we count down the top 10 celebrities who immediately regretted their marriages, part six. At number 10, John Finley. 2020 saw the success of the Tiger King documentary on Netflix, and in its aftermath, it saw some people like Joe Exotic become something of a celebrity. He and the others involved in his life became public figures, and there are still a number of people who are still interested in their lives and in getting some tea on Mr. Exotic, who is currently behind bars. Joe's ex-husband, John Finley, recently came forward to talk about his life after the documentary brought him some minor popularity, and he exposed his former relationship with the now imprisoned Big Cat owner and exposed his marriage. John cannot express enough how regretful his marriage to Joe Exotic was. John said that this whole marriage was fake and that it was just for Joe's popularity, remarking that the wedding that was shown in the documentary, which showed him, Joe, and Travis Maldonado was all, quote, basically a publicity stunt so Joe could get his own reality TV series. John spoke out saying that he still carries the pain from his time with Joe and is trying to forget his past by moving on with his new wife and by making steps towards having his tattoos of Joe removed from his body. John is in a better place now after leaving his life with Joe behind and is crediting much of his growth to his bond with his wife, but he says that he still has a long way to go to erasing the past. At number nine, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey has been in her fair share of high profile relationships and throughout the years, she's had some regretful ones as well. In September, 2020, the singer revealed in her memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, that she once had an affair which stemmed from her unhappy marriage to her first husband. In the book, Mariah wrote about about how during her marriage to music exec Tommy Mottola, she cheated on him with baseball star Derek Jeter. Mariah wrote about how she was feeling during this time with Tommy, talking about how she felt trapped in her marriage because of the age difference between her and her husband, and because she felt as though Tommy was very controlling. This lack of love in the relationship prompted her to seek out a temporary escape, and after meeting Derek at a dinner party in 1997, she bonded with him. Mariah wrote that she kissed Derek one night, and that after that moment, they never went any further until Mariah ended her marriage, which she promptly did after that. She regretted getting into a toxic relationship with her first husband, but she found a temporary escape from the situation in the end. Now, before I carry on with the list, I would like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and also check out my channel, Viper Girl, if you're looking to kick back and watch some gaming content hosted by me. At number eight, Anna Ferris. Though Anna Ferris and Chris Pratt split around four years ago, there hasn't been much talk about what went wrong in their relationship until just recently. Recently. During an episode of Anna Ferris' podcast, she sat down with actress Gwyneth Paltrow and the two of them had a conversation about marriage. Both Anna and Gwyneth had gone through divorces and finding love after such an event, and so they opened up about those experiences. Anna asked Gwyneth if her quote, taste in partners has changed throughout the decades of her life, to which she replied that her new partner is different in the sense that he helps her be more honest with herself. Anna then replied saying that she never felt as though she had that sense of honesty in her previous marriage to Chris Pratt later going on to essentially expose Chris for the way things were in their marriage and how this lack of emotional honesty caused, quote, competitiveness and comparison in the relationship. Now, it's really hard to say if she really regrets her entire relationship with Chris as a whole, but she does regret not having certain positive aspects in her relationship, seeing that it is a vital part of a successful marriage. At number seven, Madonna and Guy Ritchie. Here's a relationship that was just messy and toxic in every sense. Madonna and Guy Ritchie divorced over 10 years ago but just because their marriage ended so long ago, that doesn't necessarily mean that their hatred towards each other will have ended. The two were married for almost a decade, but their distaste for one another has lasted much, much longer, and because of this negativity, they no doubt regret ever getting married in the first place. It seems like their marriage turned sour because Madonna was working so hard on her career, and so things became strained between them, and the hostility began to grow. Coming out of the divorce, the worst of it started to get out. Guy made a lot of harsh comments about his marriage, marriage to Madonna, comparing his relationship with the singer to a soap opera, and also said that she was more concerned with her public image than she was with their marriage. Madonna has fired back at her ex in the past, saying that she felt like she was incarcerated during their marriage and that Guy was nothing but a gold digger. There was just a lot of drama there, which really shows that they weren't a good match at all. At number six, Wendy Williams. In 2019, 
2018, talk show host Wendy Williams exposed her husband's serious affair with his massage therapist. Her 20-year marriage to her husband, Kevin Hunter, was dissolved after he was accused of not only cheating on Wendy, but also fathering another woman's child. When news broke of Kevin's affair, it was also revealed that his mistress had given birth to their child, and upon discovering this information, Wendy said, enough is enough. When speaking out about the whole dramatic affair, Wendy said, quote, look, my husband had a full baby with a woman he was involved with for 15 years. Infidelity is one thing, a full baby is a whole nother topic. A baby. I'm not changing pampers, I wanna be pampered. I learned from my mother how to make lemons into lemonade. What am I supposed to do? Stay in the house and cry all day? End quote. She definitely regrets her marriage to Kevin just because of how serious this affair was. To not only cheat on your partner, but also have a child with someone else while being unfaithful is certainly something that would make you wish that you never even met this person. At number five, Kim Kardashian. By now we all know that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are divorcing. Since the beginning of this year there have been rumors circulating mainly about cheating and no one really knows what's true and what isn't. In January people were speculating that Kanye had an affair with YouTuber and makeup mogul Jeffree Star and later there came speculation that Kanye tried to cheat on Kim with reality TV star Claudia Jordan. Between the cheating allegations and rumors and all of that other drama that's gone on with Kanye lately, including his presidential campaign last year and his numerous Twitter rampages, I think Kim might have some regrets about ever getting involved with Kanye because of all the drama that he's caused her. I'm sure that she doesn't completely regret her relationship with him since he did father her kids who are her whole world, but I'm sure she would have loved to do without all of the constant Kanye drama that she's had to deal with over the past few years. At number four, Jana Kramer. Jana Kramer made the decision to try and make things work after the huge 2016 cheating scandal where her husband's infidelity and sex addiction were brought to light, but now she's definitely regretting that decision. After years of trying to grow from their troubled marriage, football player Mike Coston and his wife, singer and actress Jana Kramer called it quits on their relationship. Jana took to her social media in late April to announce their split, saying, quote, It's time. As I try to make sense of a reality that I never wanted to believe could be possible again, those words have become a reality. I've fought, y'all. I've loved hard, I've forgiven, I've put the work in, I've given everything I have, and now I have nothing else to give. End quote. Jenna also cited, quote, inappropriate marital conduct, irreconcilable differences, and adultery as reasons for their divorce. Though the pair briefly split up in 2016 following that cheating scandal, and though they did reconcile shortly after that scandal, it seems as though too much damage was done, and judging by the tone in her divorce statement, it seems like she regrets sticking around as long as she did. At number three, Alexis DeJoria and Sandra Bullock. Once a cheater, always a cheater, right? Well, that's how drag racer Alexis DeJoria and Sandra Sandra Bullock feel about their ex-husband Jesse James. Jesse has earned the label of a serial cheater after it was discovered that there was some serious infidelity plaguing not only his past relationship with Sandra but also his most recent marriage to Alexis. Both Sandra and Alexis have been caught in a cheating scandal with Jesse and this most recent scandal revealed that Jesse had cheated on Alexis with at least 20 different women. According to some sources, it was revealed that Jesse would sneak women into his family home as well as five women out to Austin to hook up with them in hotel hotel rooms. It was also reported that Alexis tried to work things out with Jesse, but he wasn't interested in making things work. After all of this drama and broken trust, both Alexis and Sandra regret ever being married to Jesse because of how much disregard he seemed to have had for their respective relationships. At number two, Mary-Kate Olsen. After multiple attempts, Mary-Kate Olsen successfully filed for divorce from her husband, Olivier Sarkozy. Mary-Kate had tried multiple times to file for divorce from her husband through the New York City courts last year, but because of the pandemic and stay-at-home orders in New York, she was denied twice before finally having her paperwork accepted in late May. The two had been married since 2015 and apparently had a number of rough patches, most notably on their stance of starting a family. Olivier, who already had children with his ex-wife, didn't want anymore, though Mary-Kate did. And on top of that, apparently the tipping point in their relationship was when Olivier's ex-wife moved into the couple's home. Mary-Kate seemed to have had enough with their disagreements, especially those that involved his ex-wife wife, and so she decided to leave her husband. Following her desire to leave, her husband apparently kicked Mary-Kate out of their home, and she was close to losing all of her personal belongings. This was all very toxic, so I'm sure she regretted her marriage to him in that moment. And finally, at number one, Melinda Gates. Bill and Melinda Gates have been in and out of the news regarding their divorce, ending their marriage of nearly 30 years. Now that they are separating, more and more news is coming out about Bill, which shows that Melinda wasn't always happy and probably regretted her marriage to him at times. 
The moment where she really wanted to leave though was when her husband began a friendship and close bond with Jeffrey Epstein. Information has come out suggesting that Melinda had made the decision to begin the divorcing process in 2019 after a report by the New York Times had linked Bill and Jeffrey. Melinda previously warned Bill about the billionaire when they first met back in 2013. However, despite her forewarnings, Bill allegedly continued to meet with Epstein, later leading to him getting exposed for their relationship when Epstein was arrested in 2019. Melinda seemingly wanted out of her marriage as soon as she realized that Bill was in too deep with Epstein. Now that all of this has come out, you can really start to see what Melinda was dealing with for all those years and that she had been dealing with an unhappy marriage for quite a while. Now I want you guys to tell me about any regrets that you guys might have about anything in your life. It could be love related or something to do with your career or even your everyday life. Share some of your stories with me down in the comments. Anyways, that's been our list. I've been your host, Riru, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends. Bye!